Samsung Gear applications have evolved through time to better suit the needs of its users. Hello, I'm Michael, and this is Samsung Developers. Let's first take a look at the building blocks of wearable and host software. Normally, the wearable device and the host device are paired together for broader connectivity and services. Host devices comprise of a smartphone or tablet. The host device runs an application called the Gear Manager which then interfaces to the Wearable Manager service of the wearable device. The Gear Manager and the Wearable Manager service work hand-in-hand -hand to manage applications on the wearable device. Shown is the architecture of the host and wearable software. We can see that they both have the Accessory Framework, also known as the Samsung Accessory Protocol or SAP, in their architecture. SAP acts as the protocol for their communication with Bluetooth or Bluetooth Low Energy. On the host software, we can see the Gear Manager. It is used to install, configure, and manage Gear applications on the wearable device. On the wearable architecture is the Wearable Manager service. The Wearable Manager service receives instructions from the Gear Manager such as installing a certain Gear application to the wearable device. Gear applications currently have two types the standalone and companion types. The standalone, as the name suggests, is a lone Tizen application capable of running and operating independently on the gear device. Companion type, on the other hand, is made up of a host-side application developed using Android APIs and gear application developed using Tizen APIs. Companion gear type applications enable data communication and interaction between the host and the wearable. To connect both parts of the app, Samsung Accessory SDK is utilized. To enable host devices to recognize a companion type app, the following permission must be added to the host app's Android manifest file. Also, metadata must also be added to distinguish between gear app types. Host side applications are uploaded and can be downloaded through Google Play Store or Galaxy apps, while Samsung gear apps handle gear applications. The following shows the two gear app types and the relation between the host and gear apps. In order to create and install companion apps, the host side app and the gear app must have each other's information. On the host side, the gear app's info is added to the Android manifest.xml. For the wearable side, the data is included in config.xml for WGTs. When users install an app, the following process happens. The user downloads the Gear app to the host device through Samsung Gear apps. The Gear Manager then transfers the app to the Wearable Manager service on the device. The Wearable Manager service handles the app and installs it on the wearable device. The Wearable Manager service also sends the installed Gear application info back to the Gear Manager. This enables the user to manage the Gear apps using the host device. Finally, if the Gear app is a companion type app, the Gear Manager executes the Android Store Deep Link so that the user can download the host side application. Let's go over all the things we talked about in today's episode. The Gear Manager is responsible for managing Gear apps installed in the wearable device. It works hand in hand with the wearable device's wearable manager service. The Samsung Accessory Protocol, or SAP, enables communication between the host and wearable devices. The gear application types may be standalone and companion types. When creating companion type gear apps, don't forget to check and include necessary data in the Android manifest.xml for host and config.xml for wearable. That's it for gear application types. We hope this tutorial helped. For inquiries, please post your questions on the official forum at developer.samsung.com. Thanks for watching.